So, I have a promise to keep to one of my longest friends that next chance I got, I would play Kirby 64. I had no interest in Kirby, I will admit, for many, many years. Because it looked too childish and not very difficult and just kind of a put something in to keep the kids happy kind of game. So I have no idea what this game is actually like. I know of the main mechanic about it. And that's it. <laughs> so... That's what I'm going to be playing now. I've actually said that I would do this in, I think, February or May. So, kind of late. But... I'm ready, I'm going to do this thing. Not much more of an introduction than that. Hey everybody, welcome, we're just starting up. <laughs> do we have options? Anything good? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, I know how to use copy. At least I'm pretty sure. It's, it's just uh, down to use it, right? We'll just assume that. If not, then this first episode is going to be a train wreck as I try to figure everything out on my own. I mean, it's a Kirby game. It's not that difficult to comprehend, right? Right. I just don't know what the controls are at all yet. I have played a few Kirby games on the channel, and in all of them I have said, and I still stand by this, that Kirby is a Lovecraftian nightmare. I still fully believe this, especially when you look at some of the enemies in the game, but he himself is a bit of a nightmare character when you really think about it. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Okay! <laughs> Alright, so if anybody's interested, I am playing on the, uh... This is, this is so weird. I'm playing the Kirby 64 game on... Oh. Playing a Kirby 64 game on... Uh, the Wii, which is itself a built-in system of the Wii U. So, you know, try to figure that on your own. Okay, so I know I can attack by pushing the same button as the inhale button, and this is the needle. But I also know one of these buttons, yeah, you can... Yes. You can combine abilities in this game. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Kirby becomes a Swiss Army Knife. Sure. Wow. He's actually got a bunch of stuff down below him as well. He's got a freaking cactus and a nail, and I have no idea what that is on the left. Didn't even have to worry about it, just... <laughs> enemies are getting killed while I'm investigating. Yikes. Okay, well... I'm interested in seeing what all the different kinds of abilities there are. Needle again, huzzah, everybody wants that. Oh wait, maybe I can go back and have you respond? Yes, you have. Let's see, that was X. And this one now is... Oh, that's cool! I don't like to use it very much, but that's still cool. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And then I want Needle. And I don't know if I spit them out, will it make a difference? Yes, of a sort. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this guy to respawn. Nah, maybe not. Needle isn't really my favorite thing. I probably didn't do that. Right, so... Cutter is just the normal... C <laughs> Except Kirby's throwing out uh, copies of himself. Lovely. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and I forgot my jump button for half a moment. That's not so pretty. But I kind of want to... Actually, this might work. Double fire. Woo! I don't even know what the normal fire is, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, now that needs to get out. Uh, Kirby, I pushed the inhale button. I need you to work with me here. Alright, so fire and cutter. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Kirby has become Cloud Strife. Alright. Also, I like how this game just kind of gets right into it. 
you don't even need to take a full minute and you're like right into the game. This guy needs to die. This one also needs to die. I guess that they're giving you a lots of different abilities to play with here. I'm just having fun exploring the different combinations you can make. I don't know what that is. Neither does the game apparently because it gave me nothing. Okay, that was rude of you, sir. Okay, I slightly regret not having an ability. Honestly, that's fine because the abilities seem to do much less damage than Kirby just spitting things out at opponents too. I get that like the abilities are the main focus of the Kirby games and whatever, but well, this ought to be interesting. Uh. Uh. Hey, you remember when I said that Kirby was a Lovecrafting nightmare? Yikes! <laughs> All right, cannons are invincible. That's lovely. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they always were, but still. Oh wow, his. Yeah, his flight is really slow. Yike. All right. Bombs are always fun. But bomb and fire is something I can't see yet. Because this is your fault. All right. You? Actually, if I leave... Like, I go all the way over here and then go back. Will I get double bombs? I can get double bombs. I just need to be able to get... Okay, maybe not. I'm almost dead, which is not something that usually happens in Kirby games. You die in the first level. But I'm having fun exploring the different kind of abilities that there are. Probably no excuse, but still. All right, now I got bombs. Should be a simple matter. There we go. All right. So, oh, cool. I can chain together fireworks. Eh, fire bomb, I guess that makes sense. Oh, and I actually have some good range too. Some really good range. I wanna say that's dark matter. I don't know if I know that from the previous Kirby game or from the Brawl in the Family comic. And now it looks like we're gonna have to fight Waddle Doom. Or it's a Gordo, that, work, that works too. I guess the, the appeal of the abilities is that you can attack much faster anytime you want. Thank you. That's the first level done. I presume. You'd think Kirby was giving her a high five, but no, he was just giving her a high thumb. So are we gonna be playing with Waddle D next time? Why would you want something other than... Oh, I have to choose my direction. And then jump for it. Okay. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't moving anywhere. Oh, so apparently I missed something in the middle. I don't even know what I was collecting before. Well, if it's important, I can go back for it. Okay, I should probably try to check out some other stuff. Let's go with... I'm probably gonna want Parasol. But what about Parasol Bomb? That's... Parasol's not available, apparently. Um, and just for the record, I don't know if this makes any kind of difference, but I am playing with a, a GameCube-looking classic controller. Just hooks up to the Wii Remote. It's a little bit loud whenever I've used it in the past, so I don't know if it's going to be different with all the different improvements I've been making to my equipment in the past year. 
The last time I used it, it was uh, rather annoyingly loud. Okay, I want to get rid of this and try something else. Didn't think we'd have a mole ability. That would be a little too cool and probably break the game as I dig under the entire stage. Okay, so it's a drop. Drop that. Cake I don't need this time. Oh, you are Spark, so an electric bomb. Um, I guess I can see that. Although, I could probably absorb the electricity and then. You yeah, want to try this, because this doesn't have a whole lot of range. So, what if I absorb this, run all the way back here? Yes. And now, double electricity is. Uh, PK Thunder? Oh, he dances! <laughs> that is cute and a little concerning. I don't quite know what to make of that. It's kind of like invincibility, though. Unless, so is the web ability in this one? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's... One in a somewhat recent game. Okay! Screw you too, dude. So... Alright, ice is pretty good. What about... Electric ice, which sounds awesome, I'm just realizing. Can I get that in time? No. Okay. So I can refill my own health with this one. Um... That seems overpowered. So, I'll get rid of that for now, and I don't really need it. Ice Bomb! Um... Okay, it's... certainly effective, but it does take a long time to go off, so I don't know if I want that one. I'll take the stars, though. Get rid of that, and... We'll just do a regular bomb in this area. Can I just throw bombs ahead? I can drop bombs off the side. This is what happens when you set the forest on fire. I'm sure it's not that important. I mean, Smokey the Bear is surely dead by now, right? I don't want Kirby to have to fight a bear. Are there bears that he fights in this game? In any game? Aha! So I don't remember picking those up in the previous level, but that's probably what I need to be after. And he's got a limited amount of flight this time for once. I don't know if that's happened since... Oh shoot. I don't know if that's ever happened outside of Smash Brothers before, but there it is. Yes, yes, you're very dangerous. And mine. Don't really need a max tomato, but I do need like one square of health, so I guess it's any healing item. Oh wait, can I? Okay, maybe not. But at least I know it's not just a drop and done kind of deal. Oh wait, I need to get this. Did I kill the boss in the last level and not get the... Uh, little gemstone last time? Oh, this character I do know as well from uh, Brawl in the Family comics. That's Adeline, I believe. Pretty sure. Like, 98% sure. Could be Adeline? I don't know. Either way, she just took a bunch of dark matter to the face. Which sounds awful. I think Kirby had some different eyes there that I've never seen on him before. Also different eyes I've never seen on her before, but then again, I don't think Adeline has ever appeared outside of this game. Okay, so we don't actually have to fight her, thank goodness, because she's super cute, and I don't want to have to do that. 
Now, I did not know that Totoro was... Oh, wait, no, that's uh, the spider. It's not the dust mites. Uh, Adeline? That does not belong in this game. What was that? See, now, if you were clever, you would have painted another Kirby. Oops. You weren't going to jump to the other side. It looked like he was going to go that direction. This one also looks familiar. I don't know if that's ever been in another Kirby game. Yeah, Bomb is definitely the way to go. I did... Oh! That's a good idea. But Kirby's already beaten one of those at this point, so, you know. Not the best idea. Ow! Um. <laughs> not a very good attacker, is she? We're gonna get a new friend on practically every level. That's cool, I guess. As usual, go for the one-up. Oh yeah, right on. I should probably consider myself lucky that I was able to get the um, first one I got when I didn't even understand what the minigame was doing. Um. Okay, that's just a level select. I left something behind. I'm gonna go try to find this one real quick. Combo! Aha! I was a little concerned that I would have to start referring to a guide already, but... I don't want to do that? Maybe I should wait to go back and pick stuff up until near the end of the game. I don't know. I'll leave this up to everybody else to decide. What do you want to see me do for that? Because I don't know... what this game is going to be like overall. Oh wait, what was that card in the center? I'll try to pick one of those up next time. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it the end of the episode here. It's a little bit shorter than what I've been making over the past year. But Horizon was a long game. I feel like this game's going to be a whole lot shorter. Maybe keeping it a little bit simpler will help me get episodes out a lot faster too. So... Thanks everyone for joining me. Next time we'll go into level three of world one. I'll see you then. Take care.